Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe and I'm Ron. Well, if you're new, welcome and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like and subscribe to the channel. It helps other people know when they post videos like this one. Well, today we're going to do a uh, different kind of recipe today. It's not uh, keto and it's uh, probably not even low carb, but it is gluten free. And I've been having some issues with my skin. Um, with psoriasis and uh, that sort of thing and I uh, wanted to see whether or not it was uh, because I mean it's a lot of stuff with gluten in it and uh, you know so anyways uh, and I uh, wanted to try some different recipes using the mini pie dash maker now if you haven't got a mini pie dash maker um, you can find these almost anywhere I have the link below the video and I got mine on uh, the Coles website and I got mine at half price uh, but typically you can find them at Amazon and Walmart and any, almost any one of those places and I have the link below the video So this particular recipe I'm going to be making today comes for you from Ken Link K. I got his contact link below the video Now the recipe calls for making the biscuit. We're going to do one fourth of a cup of all-purpose uh, rising gluten-free uh, flour a half of a teaspoon of grated butter and uh, we're going to spread it in a bowl we're going to kind of like incorporate it and mix it in now he says he used uh, four tablespoons of buttermilk but we're going to use what we have on hand you can use any kind of milk really but we're going to use heavy cream and then we're going to give it a good mix without over mixing it and once the mini dash is heated we'll put, put the uh, mixture into the mini dash and uh, all pie maker dash and uh, we'll close it and 13 minutes later when the light goes out we'll take it out and we'll cut it open and sample it now the mini dash will rise and uh, you know but don't open it up before the light tells you that when it's done because you might have a heck of a mess and uh, this flower comes to you from uh, red mill Bob red mill here yeah. gluten free and if you're concerned about the macros use the macros now I know it's got a lot of ingredients in it that's not keto and again uh, I'm going to be making a lot of these for my wife and how she's going to sample it and I'm going to have a sample of it but I'm you know but I'm just trying to switch off from some of the gluten stuff that uh, normally would be in some of the flowers that I've been eating uh, to gluten free and uh, I'm just just trying these as experiments so don't judge and uh, you know but let me know if you haven't made this before, um, if you're having skin issues with uh, psoriasis and all that sort of thing. And I just, uh, I'm looking for some answers and some solutions. And the uh, doctor did give me some uh, steroid stuff to put on, it's been helping, but uh, I'm just trying to see whether or not if, if the gluten might be causing an issue with me or not uh, on the research that I've been doing. But uh, yeah, everything's going good. Uh, we're going to make something with an avocado with an egg. We're going to try making a couple more eggs in the uh, mini uh, dash. And today we're going to have uh, probably a healthier sandwich later with avocado. A side dish. Or, yeah, what I'm planning on doing with this, I'm going to planning on doing an egg, a biscuit, and uh, half of an avocado. And, uh, you know, we'll try to see if we can figure out the macros in that. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, um, without further ado, from this point on, I'm just going to, you know, flip the camera around and uh, we're going to do the uh, music with, you know, uh, I'll put the uh, instructions over the timeline so you can see what's going on. But if you follow me along, you should be fine. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys uh, have an amazing day. Today is Wednesday, and uh, we are starting a new job tomorrow. We're kind of excited about it, and uh, we'll just take one day as, as, at a time, and uh, hopefully I won't get frustrated like I did before when I had the uh, same type of job before, but, you know, I'm not going to give up, and I'm going to just keep going with it, and, uh, you know, at some point it'll get better, and, and uh, it'll always get better. I just got to believe that. But anyways, thank you for joining my channel. Thank you for all the new subscribers. And uh, without further ado, let's just go right into the video.
Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel, it's Keto Cafe. Uh, so today we made a, uh, a first ever biscuit in the mini pie dash maker. And again, I followed the directions exactly to the YouTuber. I grated about a tablespoon of butter and a uh, fourth of a cup of uh, uh, all-purpose flour, gluten-free, and two tablespoons of uh, heavy cream. I mean, we didn't have the buttermilk. He, he said you could put milk in it. And uh, we got the mixture going into a batter type mixture. When the light went out on the mini dash, I put the batter mixture in, closed it at the halfway point. I checked it to see how it was coming along. Closed the lid again and let it cook on for another additional five or six minutes. This took about 13 minutes. Yeah, it was, I, don't know, I don't know how it's going to taste, but I just wanted to show you what I made. This is the uh, top, and as you can see, the brown is nice golden brown, and then from the side angle. Now, I don't need to put butter in it because it's already got butter in it, but let's see how it breaks. Oh, look at that. Huh. Now, this is um, already gluten free, and I'm sure it's very low on carb. Look at that. I haven't had a bite yet, but it smells phenomenal well. And what do you think? You think I'm gonna like this or not? Now I get the uh, mini pie dash maker that makes one. I'm gonna be investing in the one that makes four because I could cook four eggs in under five minutes with no mess and no frying. And uh, I can make about four of these up in about a half an hour and, and you know, be good for the day. But again, this is not keto. Uh, don't even think it's low carb, but it is gluten free. And uh, we're just trying to, uh, you know, switch off a little bit and see what, see what, if I can make something different. It's really, really good. Uh, just to make sure the, yeah, the pie, the dough is cooked on the inside. It probably could have cooked it on for a little bit longer, but I was anxious to try it. But I don't want to leave them in too long, and it want to burn them. And that's my central heating system on. Uh, I'm going to modify this a little bit next time. I'll add a little bit of uh, Parmesan cheese into it, and uh, I'll probably add a little bit of salt, and maybe every now and then add a little uh, half a tablespoon of uh, erythritol. But, uh, you know, it's sugar-free sugar. But uh, overall, I give this a two thumbs up. Now, this tastes better with the sausage in the middle. We're going to be doing that particular recipe next. What we'll do is we got some pre-cooked uh, sausages that we bought from the banquet family. And we'll take those and put one of them in the mini dash and then we'll cover it up with the uh, dough mixture. And we'll let it cook for, for about 20 minutes until it's, everything's all fully cooked. But yeah, definitely a thumbs up. And uh, so now I'm finish my coffee. It does taste like a biscuit. No, it's, it's really good. <laughs> but anyways, don't forget to give me a two thumbs up. Let me know if you haven't made this particular recipe before. And let me know if you ever had that kind of flour before. Now, if you're not doing keto, low carb, or weight, weight loss, for that matter, if you have one of those mini dashes, you can use regular flour, it'll be fine. I'm going to try experiment with almond flour and some coconut flour combination into the mini dash and see what happens with a little bit of baking soda powder and maybe even baking soda, I don't know. But uh, this is a fun part about learning how to cook. You you, uh, you cook what works and what don't work and uh, if you mess up, you mess up. And I'll talk about that in, the, in my next video. But uh, yeah, have a great day guys. Love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know the drill.